Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and I've got another battle for you. So, this is GamerMZ. Um, we've had a lot of battles with him in the past, and this is going to be another good battle. So, I'm bringing this team with my clay doll, and looking at his team, he's got a lot of scary Pokemon. The Pokemon I'm most scared of, though, is the Kingdra, because if I'm not careful, I could possibly set up um, this Kingdra to help sweep me. So, here we are. I'm going to lead the clay doll. Um, clay doll is just always a really good lead. And he's going to lead with his Alakazam. So I'm actually going to first turn set up Stealth Rocks because I know that Claydol should be able to live whatever this Alakazam wants to do. And it ends up living really well. That ends up being a three hit KO. I'm surprised at how little that took from that Alakazam. So now he's going to switch out his Alakazam. And he's going to bring in his Blastoise. I'm pretty sure that this Blastoise is probably wanting to go for Rapid Spin or something. So here I'm just going to set up the light screen, um, that was mainly for the Alakazam, but since it's switched out, um, I'm still in a good position because most Blastoises are special attackers, but I'm still expecting the Rapid Spin first turn, so I'm actually going to go into Magearna just in case that Rapid Spin comes out. And now he's going to Mega Evolve, and Mega Blastoise is really, really good special attack stat, but with this light screen up, it's not going to be doing that much. He ends up going for Ice Beam instead of Rapid Spin, so I'm guessing this is a full-on offensive Blastoise set. Um, now he's going to go for Aura Sphere here. It's not going to do that much to Magirna. We have the light screen up, and Magirna has pretty decent bolt. I'm just going to go for Energy Ball, get as much damage as I can, and it ends up looking like a two-hit KO. So here he's going to try to hit me with a Hydro Cannon, and he ends up missing. Um, and that's very unfortunate for him because that gives me an opportunity to set up the shift gear. Um, I'm not sure if Hydro Cannon would have finished off my Magearna, but there's that chance it could have, and that's very unfortunate for my opponent that the Hydro Cannon misses. So now, I do not want to play around with this thing. I want to destroy it. So I'm going to go for Twinkle Tackle, um, that way I don't have to worry about if I get a low roll and the Blastoise somehow ends up surviving the energy ball. I just want to get rid of it because I do not want to take a Hydro Cannon. Plus, if I can get rid of this thing, then my Stealth Rocks are here to stay. Um, so, we got rid of it, and now he's going to bring in his Snorlax. And I know um, most Snorlaxes that I've seen usually have some sort of ground type move. Um, usually high horsepower here in the 7th generation. And I do not want to lose my Magearna yet because Magearna is pretty decent here. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon on his team that it matches up with, especially the Kingdra, especially the Dragonite. Um, so I'm going to bring out my Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is my physical wall here um, as he goes for the stockpile. So now I'm going to U-turn. I'm hoping to bring in something that can threaten this thing. I do not want him to keep setting up stockpiles. And I'm actually going to bring in my Caesar because I could easily Swords Dance up and get a really nice attack boost so I can negate all these stockpiles that he's been getting up. So I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve here. Um, I do have Bug Bite on this but I don't want to reveal it yet because I want to um, use it to get some health back. So I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. Um, go for the Swords Dance. It's going to be really nice. Get some two levels of attack boost as he goes for Belly Drum, so now I'm kind of nervous. This thing could actually sweep my team if I'm not too careful. Um, I know Snorlax has really decent attack, and it, with Belly Drum, it's going to do a lot. Unfortunately, he eats his berry here, but I'm pretty sure he'll go for Recycle sometime. My light screen is gone, but that doesn't matter because I am too worried about this Snorlax. So I'm going to Bullet Punch, try to get some chip damage. Um, it ends up bringing him back to where the berry will activate, unfortunately. So he's going to eat his berry again, um, that's very unfortunate, but there's not really much I could do there. So um, what I'm going to do now is actually sword Dance again, hoping he goes for Recycle, and that way I can eat his berry so he can't keep recycling it. Um, but he actually goes for Stockpile this time, so um, it's not the best, but I mean it's not the worst possible thing. Um, it would have been really nice if he went for his, um, Recycle there and got his berry back so I could eat it. Here I'm going to go for Bullet Punch, see how much this does. It does not activate where his berry would um, come out, but unfortunately he doesn't go for Recycle this time. He goes for um, the Facade. Luckily he's not poisoned or burnt, so it's not doing that much. 
But now I'm going to Roost, get some health back, hoping he goes for a Recycle. I really want him to go for a Recycle so I can get rid of that Berry. But looking at this, it's not really going to um, help me in the long run. But all I really need him to do is Recycle one turn. And I can get that Berry off of him. But he's going to keep going for Facade, knowing that eventually he might get the higher roll. He might get a crit and do a lot of damage where my Roost won't really help me that much. So now I'm going to actually go for Bug Bite. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't kill him, but it makes it where I don't really need to worry about him getting his Berry back. But unfortunately, my Caesar goes down to that one, that um, facade there. So now I'm going to bring up my High Dragon and try to revenge kill this thing. I do not want this thing still on the field. I'm ready to get rid of it. And now that I've gotten rid of Snorlax, I've got rid of this really big threat that was threatening to destroy my entire team. Now he's going to bring out his Alakazam, and I'm kind of nervous about Alakazam because I know it's really, really fast, and I do not want to take a Dazzling Gleam. If I take a Dazzling Gleam, that's going to completely kill my Hydreigon. So now he actually pops his Z-move, and he ends up having the Fidium Z. So I think this is a Focus Blast that this, um, this Z-move is being powered up from, so it's... If I had my Hydreigon out here, it would have completely destroyed my Hydreigon. But since I've swapped into my Claydol, Claydol can take this pretty well. Claydol has really nice special defense bulk, really nice physical bulk. It's mainly to set up and take hits. Um, and right there, yes, it, it took that really nicely. So I, now he's just going to go for the Shadow Ball again. Um, and it's going to be enough to finish off my Claydol. But I mean, Claydol, Claydol did really good here, got the Stealth Rocks up took the Fidium Z, um, if that was the High Dragon, it would have went down to that. So now, this Alakazam actually has Attract, and Attract is a move that you don't really see that much on competitive play, because it's it's really, really iffy if it works or not. Luckily for me, Mandobuzz breaks through this one turn, but unfortunately, Alakazam e lives with like 1 HP, I could barely even see it there, so that is nuts. Mandibuzz is going to be infatuated with this stunning, dashing, mustachioed Alakazam. So even though Alakazam's going for Focus Blast, it's not going to do that much to Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz has really nice bulk as well. Even though it's my physical wall here, it still has some good special bulk. Um, but unfortunately, I'm in a really bad position. This Alakazam can just chip away at my Mandibuzz. There's not really much I can do because my Mandibuzz is so in love with that beautiful Alakazam with the pink shoulder pads. Um, I'm in a bad position here. Um, I know if I don't get a Roost up later on, Mandibuzz is not going to be doing much. I'm actually going to go into Magirna here because I'm pretty sure Magirna can take a Focus Blast pretty well and since my Magirna does not have a gender, I can't be attracted. But unfortunately, it doesn't take it that well. So Magirna takes a really nasty Focus Blast. It loses some special defense. And this Magirna that would be really helpful against the Kingdra and the Dragonite is now gone. So now I'm going to bring back my Mandibuzz, hoping, hoping that if he goes for Attract, Mandibuzz can break through. And he's going to go for Attract once again. Um, I really, I really need Mandibuzz to fight here, because if it doesn't, it's going to really cost me the game. Um, but luckily, I get a Roost here. Um, uh, I was kind of nervous if... I actually thought Alexan would go for an attacking move there, and I knew I needed to get some sort of health back if I was going to ever have a chance at this. But now I'm in the same position I was before. My Mandibuzz is in love with this Alakazam. And it's not really good. So now he goes for Shadow Ball and gets the crit and the special defense drop. I'm thinking he probably predicted me to switch out there. But unfortunately, my Mandibuzz is still in love. So he gets the crit and the special defense drop. And Mandibuzz is still, still in love with this Alakazam. So now I'm going to have to go Pelipper. I, I need a Pokemon to actually fight to win this one. Um... So I sent out my Pelipper. Pelipper is actually a male, so Attract won't work. I'm hoping that Pelipper can pretty much take whatever this Alakazam wants to do. I was kind of hesitant about bringing Pelipper out here, but I think I really needed it to because 
Um, even though Kingdra is in the back, if I don't bring out Pelipper, this Alakazam is going to destroy my team. So now I get the Hurricane off, and that will take out the Alakazam. But now I'm in a bad position, especially now that Kingdra comes out. Um, later on, he told me that this wasn't a Swift Swim variety Kingdra. It was actually the Sniper one. But still, I'm basically helping it sweep my team with the rain up. If he goes for water moves, it will do a lot of damage. And he ends up going for Dragon Dance. So this is actually a physical Kingdra. And that's not really the best thing for me. I still have Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz should be able to take a few hits and hit back with a foul play. But I'm not sure if it will. Especially now that he actually goes for Outrage. And I don't have my Magearna anymore to come in and stop the Outrage. So now um, I'm in a really bad position. Pelipper is gone. Um, I'm hoping Mandibuzz can at least live one Outrage and fire back with a foul play. And I'm hoping that foul play will be enough to finish the Kingdra. Mandibuzz does live the Outrage. That just shows you how nice and bulky it is. But unfortunately the foul play isn't enough to finish the Kingdra. So this Kingdra can easily, easily sweep my team here. And that's what it's going to do now. It's going to Outrage again. That will be enough to finish off my Mandibuzz. And now I'm down to my Hydreigon, and even though this thing is confused, it's really iffy if I'm going to be able to pull through and hit this Hydreigon. He still has two other Pokemon, I'm in a really bad position, and if this Kingdra breaks through, it will kill my Hydreigon. And it ends up killing my Hydreigon, so unfortunately, um, the Kingdra ended up sweeping our team. The Alakazam with Attract really hurt us. It completely destroyed a lot of our Pokemon, especially when my Mandibuzz was in love. I kept trying to switch it out so I can break the the love, and it just kept falling in love. So, um, unfortunately, my Mandibuzz was so infatuated with that mustachioed Alakazam that it ends up costing me the battle. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next battle video.